All right, so today I'm going <clears> to <throat> show how you could copy images and files from a Cisco device like a router to a TFP, TFTP server on your laptop. So the first thing you want to do is download a TFTP server, and the one I got is uh, by SolarWinds. So if you just type in SolarWinds TFTP server, you'll find it. And... Uh, They'll ask you for some information before you download it. I just made up a name and an email. They don't do any email checking. And then uh, go ahead and just download it after. And then after you download and install it, uh, let's run it. Okay, so let's make sure. Yep, so it's running right now. Um... So I'm going to tell that into one of my routers. And I was doing a telnet lab, so I'm going to just act up the running configuration for that so I can use it later. Um, so we're going to need the Right now I'm in enable mode. We need the copy command. Um, we're going to cop, copy the running config. And it's always copy from and then to. So we're copying from running config. And then we're going to go to the TFTP server. Now it's going to ask for a destination. Um, so the destination of my laptop is 192.168.110 so we'll type that in here uh, this is just the default file name it's going to give it and for now I'll leave it at that and so now it's going to time out and the reason I made this video is because uh, just to show you a workaway around that, and it has to do with Windows Firewall. And a lot of times, if uh, you have a Cisco lab and you got your laptop hooked up, uh, Windows Firewall is going to block a lot of the things coming in from a router. Yeah, so it says error opening. So to get around that, what we got to do is open Windows Firewall with advanced settings. And we're going to make a new inbound rule. So we're going to say new rule. We're going to go port. So check port, hit next. Um, TFTP runs on UDP port 69. So check UDP and type in port 69 here. Our, our action is going to allow the connection uh, keep those checked and uh, we're going to name our rule I'll just name it TFTP server finish all right so we got a new rule here it's enabled and it's allowing incoming connections on UDP port 69 because that's what our TFTP server is running on so let's go ahead and try copying this again. So copy run config to TFTP. And I'm actually going to name it on the web router A. Actually, I'll move over here. See the server. Alright, there we go. 105 bytes copied. And if you go file configure, you can see where your files are going to be stored. So if we go over to C drive, TFT, and there we go. There's our file right there. And so yeah, I uh, just got to make a rule on that Windows firewall, and that can block some things. Also, Another thing that's a pain sometimes if I try to ping my laptop from my router, 
it's gonna time out. Another thing you could do is make a new rule, and I'd go custom and protocol ICMP, which is ping for next, 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 and uh, that'll fix pinging issues. So I hope that helps out today. Uh, leave some feedback if you want. And thanks for watching.